Amanda Bynes is back on social media, and she has a lot to say. If you didn't know, she has been trapped in a conservatorship for the past nine years. But thankfully, she's got a court hearing this month to hopefully terminate her conservatorship. So let's talk about this new Instagram page, because she just created this Instagram. It's growing very quickly. It's got 31,000 followers. Um, I would say about an hour ago, it had 20,000. So I'm sure by the morning when this is posted, it will have even more followers, but she has been posting on this page and I want to go through some of her posts because some people are concerned, some people are happy. I mean, she hasn't been on social media in a while, which we will review some of her other accounts in a few moments, but let's go ahead and jump into the new content. So Amanda made this post on her Instagram, her first post on her new Instagram, and she's going to briefly talk about her upcoming court date. She tagged a couple publications in the caption and it looks like the comments have been turned off. What's up, Instagram? Amanda Vines here. My court date is coming up in two weeks. I want to thank you all so much for your love and support. Peace out. What's up, Instagram? Amanda Vines here. My court date is coming up in two weeks. Okay, Amanda looks great. She looks she looks great. Um some people okay. I think this video is great. I'm excited to see it. She's bringing up the court date. She's, you know, talking about her freedom. We love to hear it. But some people said they felt like this video looked like a hostage video. I mean, that's kind of like, you know, jump in the gun for me. But it's interesting to see her here because I feel like every time I see her, she looks a little bit like different. Now, here's another post that she made on her Instagram. And it looks like she tagged her fiance, who we will look at Paul's page in a moment. But it's a photo of their feet outside. Um, I'm guessing that maybe because she's getting closer to freedom, they're giving her, you know, the ability to go and use social media because it's kind of random how she just created this account and now she's posting so much. It's like, hmm, like where did that come from? Also note that Paul looks like he's wearing some type of ring. Um, I don't think men, like if you're in a straight relationship, I don't think like the men wear any rings for engagement. Maybe it's a promise ring or something, but it looks like a marriage ring in my opinion. Like look at his ring. Do you see that? Kind of looks like a marriage ring, but I don't think Amanda has married him. So I'm not trying to push that. I just, I noticed it. So this is how I know the first video we saw was older because here she's talking about how she's removing her tattoo. The caption is tattoo removal process. And it's interesting, like I don't, we don't have a great timeline of like when these videos could have been created because that first video she had like some ombre hair um, and she had the tattoo and here the tattoos clearly a lot lighter. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. I don't know if she's going to speak in it. It looks like she's just showing off the tattoo removal, which is honestly like a lot of people like are bothered by her face tattoo, which I understand like society can be judgmental about face tattoos. So it's kind of cool that she is like, I don't know. It seems like Amanda's like taking charge of her life again. And if removing this tattoo is going to make her feel like better, you know, then so be it. But I don't think we should ever, you know, judge someone with face tattoos. But I don't think that maybe Amanda was in the best, like, you know, mindset when getting this like heart on her face because the heart itself is not even very like symmetrical. It's kind of like a odd shape. Now, this is one of the weirdest posts. So she posted a video of I believe this is her fiance, like in a commercial video shoot for an urgent care. Let's go ahead and look at her fiance's page. Here's Paul's page. This is Amanda's fiance, supposedly, maybe husband, I don't know. But he did post a photo of him and Amanda together, and this was posted January 31st. And if you look here, it looks like she doesn't have the um, the ombre grade hair. So we could assume that the, well, I don't know, wait, that's so weird to me. I don't understand the ombre because this isn't adding up. In this video, she says that her court date's two weeks away, which would be like right about now, right? Maybe like two days ago. And then in this other video, she's got the tattoo like slightly removed. I don't know. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Like there's some, ah, like I wish I could like articulate it better, but there's something here where I'm like, the timeline is like so off. Anyways, let's watch this commercial with her man's Paul and it's for this urgent care. Sarah Urgent Care offers a great 
Okay, the audio isn't that great here, but pretty much he's just like reading off some script for the urgent care. Interesting. I mean, at least he's working. I didn't know he was like an actor or a commercial actor or anything like that, but at least he's working and he looks pretty healthy too. I believe they met in AA meetings. Um, don't quote me on that. They've met in some type of like uh, maybe transitional housing. I, I'm not exactly sure, but he they both look great. And if they're happy together, then good for them. Now let's look at Amanda's latest post. She wrote bye bye ombre hair which again so okay so now we're acknowledging that the hair is no longer ombre but and then like here she doesn't have the tattoo removed at all so this one i'm assuming was filmed after the one with the gray hair but before the one where she started getting the tattoo removed like isn't that so am i lagging isn't that so weird though like i like the i don't know it reminds me of how Britney Spears and how her images and videos like never really line up time wise, like timeline wise. So um, I kind of I'm getting a little bit of that from Amanda's situation as well. Also, if you look at her page, you'll see there's this statement in her bio where she writes, check back for updates on new fragrance. So it looks like she is working on some type of fragrance situation. Also, just taking a peek at her followers, it looks like she's got Paul, who she follows, and she also oops she follows her lawyer david which is interesting so maybe they have a close relationship he does happen to speak about her quite often to the media and all of that so um it's interesting to see who she has followed but let's briefly talk about her social media history because um she has a bunch of different social media accounts. It's actually pretty hard to keep track. Here's her Twitter page. She's got 2.5 million followers and she hasn't posted since September 2019. So a very long time. I don't know who has this account. Let's see if there's any likes because maybe there are some likes from more recently. No, nope, nope, nope. September 2019. Doesn't look like she's been on this account since September 2019. So, um, in this tweet, she shared an Instagram account, and let's go ahead and look at this Instagram account because she was using it at some point. This was Amanda's Instagram account at some point, Amanda Bynes Real, um, and at one point it did have like posts and a bunch of other things. It's got 36,000 followers, and who's it following? Um, looks like it's following the school that she went to. I don't know if she's currently at this school. I'm pretty sure she graduated but, um, from FIDM. I think that's what they call it. At first, I thought it was FDIM. It's actually FIDM. That's like what the locals and the students call it. But this was her page. So it's interesting that she's creating like new pages, but maybe it's like for new beginnings. But I'm definitely going to be keeping a close eye on this situation because something like I, I feel like her team wants to avoid a whole like Free Britney movement because there is a Free Amanda movement. It's not as big as Free Britney, but they want to avoid this and maybe we'll get clues from her social media maybe she's totally fine and normal but this whole like timeline where we've got like the ombre hair then we've got like the tattoo gone then we've got the tattoo here like there's something like time there's a timeline that's like not right here even in this picture of their feet like she's got black hair coming down so it wouldn't have been around this ombre you know hair color time and I've seen some of you guys on Twitter saying like, you're concerned, you're worried, like these videos seem like they're forced and who really knows, but we're going to be keeping a very close eye on the situation. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think about Amanda's recent posts? Are you happy for her? Are you excited for her? What do you want to see her do? It looks like she's going to do fragrance, but I would love to see her like next year in like a Netflix movie. Like, I don't know if she would want to do that, but like she would kill it. And we all believe in you, Amanda. So thank you guys for watching this video. Here's my email and I'll see you guys in a new one soon. Bye guys.